am I the astronaut for screaming at two teenagers for cutting my headphones, even though they tried to give me new ones? I feel stupid doing this, but I've been listening to you for a while and you in the community might be able to help me. I, 23 female, have these old as dinosaur headphones. They are Harry Potter themed over the ear clunky headphones and I love them because I was a Harry Potter fan as a kid, but also because they were a gift from my grandmother. She gave them to me when I was 16, a month before she died. She was my rock at the time because of my family getting a divorce. So I kept them all this time. I refused to take them out of the box for a while because I didn't want to lose them. But soon after a long time and some grief sessions, I was able to open it and have been able to use them whenever her birthday of the day I lost her came. The incident in question happened last week. I have a tradition of going to the park she would take me to and feed the ducks some peas. It was something she loved to do. I had my headphones on listening to some music and enjoying my day until all of a sudden the music stopped on one side. When I looked down, I saw the cord hanging. I turned. I saw two teenage boys giggling as one of them held up some scissors and the other was holding a phone recording me. I guess I was so focused on the ducks and music I didn't hear the two teens coming up behind me and cutting my headphone cord. I was completely shocked. Till they started trying to hand me a box of AirPods, telling me I don't have to use those cheap, childish headphones and how happy I must be. Wow. Dicks. I guess there was a thing on TikTok or Facebook where people would do this as a joke or a skit. I completely lost it on them. I was screaming so much that a couple of people started staring, and it's been seven years since my grandmother died. And sure, I still have pictures and that, but those were still my last gift from her before she died, and I loved them. And these two kids decided to cut the cords to a sentimental gift that I loved. Some people started trying to defend the kids, but I didn't listen. I just kept screaming while the boys yelled that I should be grateful that they did that because now I can have nicer headphones. At least they were till I screamed so loud that these headphones were a gift from my grandmother, the only gift I had gotten before a drunk took her away. I don't know why I said it honestly. It wasn't something they could have or should have known at the time, but who the hell cuts somebody's property? I think it finally registered to one of them why I was so mad because they started backing away, but the other one dug in and kept saying I should be grateful. I couldn't take it anymore and knew if I stayed, I would do something very stupid. So I left, but still ranted about it to some friends, and they're now split on who was right and who was wrong. Some say the boys were wrong because who the hell believes what they see on TikTok or Facebook for dumb skits like that, but some are saying I should have not lost my cool like that and screamed so much at them and that the headphones are just junk that I barely ever use. And before anyone asks, yes, I'm trying to find some way to fix the headphones, but so far, not a lot of luck. I really don't want to throw them out because I also can't just listen to the music on them with one side working, so am I the astronaut? No, hell no, hell no, hell no. Any of your friends that are saying that you are, uh, I I would have some serious questions about either the the version of the story that they received or their actual friendship to you. This is, it doesn't matter what it was. It doesn't matter what it was. This was a sentimental gift to you that someone else damaged. Now, the, the, the monetary value of them probably definitely prevents this from being any kind of like legal case that you could sue them for. It doesn't matter. And, and you know, they were also willing to give you the AirPods. That's not the issue. The sentimental value is these were priceless to you. These were priceless. And these dipshits just ran up and destroyed them for Internet clout. We're on a roll today of people doing dumb shit for Internet clout. Uh, and and harming other people in the process. You are not the astronaut for screaming at them. They needed to be screamed at because pain creates change. Maybe they'll think twice before they go cut somebody else's headphones like the dumb little dipshits that they are just to do some freaking video. Doing this kind of shit to people who who haven't agreed to be a part of this and, and it's bullshit. It's irresponsible. It's reckless. They're actively, intentionally damaging other people's property. And what uh, these are the same kids who walk around in school knocking people's books out of their hands and then pick them up. They're like, oh, you should thank me for that. That's not how this works. That is not how this works at all. Uh, I'm 100 percent with you. They deserved what they got. Um, If they just cut the cords on your headphones, they are repairable. And you can probably take them somewhere or send them off somewhere to be repaired. I understand that that the physical item itself may not be worth fixing, but the sentimental value of that item makes it worth fixing. They can be fixed. Um, I have fixed several before. Depending on what brand they are, uh, I would reach out to the company and see if you could send them in for a repair. There are a lot of companies like Rode who does has you know, my headphones and microphones and stuff, it has a fantastic policy where if they're broken at all, like they will repair it or send a new one back. I would, I would highly encourage you 
to follow that path and try to get them fixed because they mean the world to you. It's going to take a while to forget about these dipshit kids who did this to you. Uh, But hopefully, you know what? Hopefully they use that freaking content and hopefully uh, the Internet comes after them for what they did. It is ridiculous that people think that they can just harm others for clout and that and that the world is like, yeah, oh, okay, okay. And you know, those kids just showed up to the park that day and they're like, all right, who's wearing headphones that we can destroy? You weren't, this wasn't a premeditated targeted thing. These fools just showed up and you just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, which makes it even worse. Um, uh, no, I, I, I think that you, you reacted appropriately here. And if your friends, maybe your friends, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know why they would say that you overreacted on this unless when you were recounting this to them, you portrayed some guilt like you thought already that you might have overreacted and you portrayed it in a way that was like, man, I really lost my shit. Um, so, you know, you your reaction did nothing to undo the pain that they caused you. No way around that. However, your reaction might save someone else from going through the same thing because these kids will think twice before they do it again. Right. Right. I'm sure they don't view it as evil because they're like, oh, it's just for content. It's not a big deal. The insistence and the pushing that you should be grateful without ever thinking about about, you know, sentimental value being attached to anything. Just looking at the material value of things uh, is definitely an age thing. Right. But these teenage dipshits know better than to go cause harm to someone or destroy someone's property even if you're automatically giving them something else you you have to expect that somebody's going to react if you destroy something they own and the fact that they didn't anticipate that in the first place and and at least one of them stuck to their guns and and dug in and said no you should be grateful to us (laughs) uh these kids do this enough times and they are going to land they are going to land themselves in some legal trouble No, there was no apology, no apology at all. There was never an apology. It was, you know, the closest they got to apologizing was one kid disengaging while the other continued to dig in. Hopefully they learn. And and I, I seriously think that you've probably saved other people here with that reaction.